Okay, Lady Ada, we're here in shipping with the director of shipping, Hello. Angel. Hello, I'm Angel. Yay! And uh, we're about to ship a circuit playground. So uh, let's start, as, they, as you would say, from the beginning. So uh, there's an order that's going to go to DigiKey, mm -hmm. Maker.io, to the president there, uh, Dave Doherty. Uh, let's start with, uh, with what do you do with an order, Angel? So the first thing we do is we log into Volcano and we go to the order status and then we print it. So we print the invoice with puzzle, the little quote on the bottom. And then we just wait for it to print out. Okay. Yeah, every, every invoice we have a little extra white space at the bottom. So we put like cool quotes and inspirational sayings. And here we go. Here's the invoice. So if you look right here, we have a shelf location, and we'll walk over to the shelf and go grab it. Okay. Angel, how many, about how many orders do you think uh, you ship a day sometimes? Me personally or the department? Uh, let's do both. Well, as a department, we ship 800 to 1,000 orders. Me yeah. personally, um, I don't do as much shipping, but I try and do at least 100. Wow. Okay. Wow. Back in the day, um, I would do all the shipping, and Lady Ada would do all the kidding. It's only 20 orders a day, and, though. And that was care. a different amount, all right. Okay, so every shelf has a number on it. So you just have to find the shelf. What shelf ID so is it? We're on shelf three, seven, okay. three, and seven. row four. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And here we are. Circle so playground. And then there's the product ID, 3,000. Yeah. So. And one thing that's worth noting is we did color invoices a while ago. This is good for customers and also good for um, gathering. And then uh, you do like a little check, right? You're like, okay, this is the right one, and we have some barcodes on it. Yeah, so what we do is we check the PID, and then we also have another barcode up here that helps us figure out what batch it came from if there are any discrepancies. Okay. All right, so I normally orders, uh, average order usually is a few items, about $120. Um, but this is just a special one that we're just shipping to show uh, some of the distribution process. Like extra love and care. Yeah. But yeah, every, you know, we have about 3,000 products. Each one has a shelf location. Each one has a barcode. And there's all over the place. And which, what I really think is cool about the way the invoices are done is um, the products are sorted in order of distance. Yeah. So the most common products that we ship are going to be much closer to the shipping stations. And the ones that we ship a little more rarely are in the back. Yeah. And so people Velocity don't Velocity storage. Yeah, you, know, you don't want to put like, you know, the most popular item all the way in the back of the warehouse. You want to have it like right here. So it's yeah. very fast. Okay. So what's next, Angel? So then the next step for a shipper is for us to open up Hob, which is how we ship all of our orders. This is your favorite color? This is my favorite color. Okay. Yeah. Each desk is personalized for the shipper. Okay. So then we would scan the invoice and it would pop up on the screen. Okay. So you know you're shipping the right thing. Yes. Alright. And then right here if you look on the screen, it says quantity zero, but once you scan the product, the quantity will be green. That it's means like, it's okay yes. to go. And then the next step is for you to grab the mailer. Yeah. Oh, and if you uh, show the other side um, the of the mailer. So these are the ones we had made. Eventually, it's cheaper to get these made than just to buy off the shelf ones. And the other thing, we have a barcode uh, here that uh, helps us keep track of inventory of our shipping supplies. Yeah, especially because when you ship things, and this is something that makers have to think about, is not only do you have to worry about the weight of an object, but the size of the object, because yeah. a lot of um, uh, shipping companies, freight companies like UPS and FedEx, they do volume shipping, not just weight. And so if you have yeah. a big box and it's light, it's going to cost a lot more than if it was small. You actually have to take that into account. Okay. Well. So what's the next, Angel? So the next step is for us to scan the mailer that we're using. And then we would weigh it. Mm -hmm scale and it, it talks to the server and says okay this is weighing right about the right amount we even weighed like six pounds and say like hey like hold on angel why are you shipping a piece of lead and if you look really close on hob it actually tells you how you should ship the order in a uh. custom black mailer all right so we're not breaking any rules right now and the order is ready to go. Okay, now um, there's a couple things on your desk here. If it had a battery, we would do some uh, battery stuff. Uh, you have a little uh, chart of all of our guides. Uh, what else you got going on here? And we have some packing slips right here. Mm -hmm. We have some paperwork and stuff. We have some mini boxes for those um, extra fragile items that need to be packed really carefully. Okay. 
And that's pretty much it. All right, so now that it's here, where does it go? Now what we do is we take it over to the bins and we drop it right in and it'll be ready to go out at 5.30. Gotcha. And what are the differences between uh, these here? So over here we have, um, this This bin is for boxes, this okay. one is for mayos only, and then we have another one for boxes. Okay. And, and then this makes it here? easier, this makes it easier for the people who are stacking um, for the day to kind of sort them out and try and get, them, get out our packages as quickly and efficiently as possible. Okay. And then uh, what happens uh, at the end of the day when this all gets filled up? When, when this all gets filled up, we transfer it over to our stack area. Yeah, let's go And there. then we yeah. take an empty bin. Okay. And so that's UPS. So UPS will come and pick it up? This is our UPS um, stack area here. over here. Um, okay. And we usually have about four or five pallets a day that go out. So about a thousand orders. Okay. All right, Exciting. so that's the journey of an invoice to a ship package. Yep. All right, well, thank you so much, ladies. Oh, so fast. Thank you. Uh, Angel and Lady Ada, thank you. All right.